Iran has unveiled its latest domestically built unmanned combat aerial vehicle using the latest state-of-the-art technology. The commander of the aerospace division of the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps says that the UAV will play an important role in combat as well as in gathering intelligence. Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh stressed the significance of expanding Iran's defense capabilities and said that Iran is among the world's top combat UAV manufacturers. Tehran has repeatedly reaffirmed that its missile and military might are merely for defensive and peaceful purposes, posing no threat to other countries. Shabir Hassan Ali is a political analyst and activist joining us from London. Uh, so when we uh, listen to these types of news, especially when it comes to drone that uh, contains, uh, obviously in its manufacturing, uh, very uh, intricate technology, the fact that it's domestically made is of significance. Tell us a little bit about that and, of course, what message this may be sending uh, countries in particular from the West. Yeah, America has this, um, this farcical image that only it has any expertise and it, only it can develop technology and all of this stuff. And when Iran turns around, Iran, which is considered by the, by the mainstream media, by the if you like the America-centric world as being this third world entity, Iran turns around, comes out with nuclear energy indigenously, comes out with um, medical technology indigenously, and now um, this UAV technology indigenously, it breaks the legs of the arguments of the American-centric world, and it further exposes the lies and hypocrisy of the, uh, of the American establishment, of the Western establishment per se. And it says that, look, any country is able to excel if it relies upon itself. And that's what Iran has done, using the idea of resistance economy and the whole resistance mentality. Iran has buckled down against all of these sanctions, which allegedly America was going to lift. But of course, America, we know everything that comes out of its mouth is a lie. Against the face of all of these sanctions and issues that America and the West is putting against Iran, Iran turns around and says, you know what, we don't need you. We can do things ourselves. And they prove they can do things ourselves. And that, I think, to the, to the America-centric world is extremely terrifying. It's something which in itself is a deterrent against them trying anything against Iran because they don't know what Iran is capable of. And they should understand that Iran didn't happen yesterday. America is, in terms of um, the history of nations, America has no history. It's been around for only a few hundred years. Iran as a civilization um, has been around even before the advent of Islam. And uh, the Western world should, should realize this. Iran is not a joke. And now the fact that Iran has embraced Islam, or embraced Islam obviously years ago, and is now coupling Islam with its, uh, with its civilizational expertise, if you like, is a force to be reckoned with. And even these, these neighbors that sadly Iran has got these Takfiris, the Saudi so-called, and these little UAE oil fields and shopping malls with flags, they also need to realize that their future lies in being with Iran and not being against Iran. Because Iran is not an aggressive nation. It has never aggressively gone to war. But it has been aggressively attacked. And it has always defended itself. All of its programs that we've heard so many times from uh, various government ministers, army, military personnel, as well as from the leader, that all of the weaponry, all of the um, advances that Iran makes, this is only for defensive purposes. And if these little oil fields with flags and shopping malls with flags like Emirat and Saudi and Kuwait and so on, if these people had half a brain between them, they would realize that their security lies with Iran and not with America or Israel, who have never done anything in their lives that has been constructive to humanity. Thank you for that. A political analyst and activist Shabir Hassan Ali talking to us from London.